a £39 million settlement for a girl whose limbs were amputated after she was improperly released from the hospital has been allowed by the High Court. She presented at Frimley Park Hospital in Surrey with red flags for meningitis and sepsis, but her attorneys claim she was only treated with paracetamol before being released. A few hours later, when her parents brought her back to A&D, she was found to have meningococcal sepsis, which led to multi-organ failure. Liability was accepted by the NHS Trust. The young girl, who cannot be named for legal reasons, had both of her legs amputated above the knee and both of her arms amputated above the elbow. Her family filed a lawsuit, claiming that if she had received immediate antibiotic treatment, she wouldn't have been as unwell and wouldn't have required the amputations. The Frimley Health NHS Foundation Trust's chief executive, Neil Dardis, reportedly apologized to the girl's parents in a letter and stated that her care fell below the standard the girl was entitled to expect and that she shouldn't have been discharged.